the wedge delay and velocity calibration option for top data is the least used of the options and typically it's beneficial for validating the position of the selected indication on the A scan is as intended based on a return velocity being near what was expected. During the course of the setup the TOF probe was selected from the database and a default value of 5.40 for the wedge model was entered. The velocity of 5890 meters per second was used for the, calib for the group setup and for data acquisition. To calibrate for wedge delay and velocity, enter the wizard and select type ultrasound and calibrate for velocity and wedge delay. Select a reference A scan representative of the inspection. The software will display the defaults that were entered during setup. The PCS could have been the measured PCS from the scanner upon original setup or it could be the calculated PCS that was automatically replaced after PCS calibration that is possible in a reference standard or the component. The software is asking for two targets to be identified with the cursors. Uh, target 1 is the lateral wave at 0 millimeters and we will use the cursor on the first negative peak of the lateral wave and for the back wall we will place the measure cursor on the first positive peak of the back wall signal. Select calibrate An algorithm is performed on the UT axis. Verify that the wedge, that the material velocity calibrated was within approximately 100 meters per second within the, uh, the intended value and that the wedge delay is close to as intended. Standard Olympus ST1 wedges will be between approximately 5 and 6.9 microseconds. At this point, if the velocity is accurate, validating that the position of the two reflectors used for the calibration are correct, in most cases we will accept the default velocity and not use the calculated. It is highly recommended that the velocity not be calibrated through the TOF data and if a real measurement is not available using pulse echo multiple back walls that the default velocity uh, in the database is used. Acceptance of this will linearize the UT axis and measurements will be possible in between the cursor areas. Selecting restart again clears the new calculated velocity and will revert back to the original one which is recommended under most conditions.